welcome back to my channel. This is Life of Interruptions with me, Pearl Osa, and I have got the lovely Temba and Hope. I felt like saying Hope and Hope because your names mean the same yeah. thing. And that, that is part of the testimony that just trips me because you can just yeah. see God's hand at work. Yes. Um, so guys, this is what many of you consider to be the month of love. And we are exploring this concept of love, but not just love, a love story that God himself pens mm. with his own hand. That is the most beautiful kind. And so this is our first couple for the month of February. And um, I'm gonna be asking them the same questions that we pretty much answered in our video, how they met, how they knew, the things God said, uh -huh. the very supernatural sort of stuff that we're just like, that's the confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, and share the video, surely. Goodness and mercy follows us all. Okay, guys, welcome yeah. to the show. Hey. Oh, thank you for I'm so excited. You know when you cross from excited to excitificated? Yes, that's where it's at. New term. <laughs> Labels. Labels. Yes, Labels. Yes, that's where I'm at. Okay, guys, so this is fresh, right? Yeah. Very fresh. It's it's fresh, and I remember I met you first. Mm -hmm. yes. I met you at, at church, and yes. I, I think I was ministering at your yes, church. Yes, you were ministering Hope of Glory. And Hope of Glory, Tabernacle in Fosloras. Yes. And we just had a connection. I remember you came out and you spoke with me about what I had been sharing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you guys uh, attended once or twice our marriage seminars. Yes, yes, yes. we attended twice. Yeah. And when I met you, I was again. What, what, was, what was that? Was I emceeing ministry? You, I, don't know what was I think she was emceeing. She was speaking again. At the baby shower. At, at the, the baby little bridal shower. shower. Yeah, bridal shower. Bridal shower. <laughs> okay, I, I'm way ahead. It's bridal shower. <laughs> Um, there was a bridal shower, and just like he did, mm -hmm. you came out and met with me. Yes, so I, you know when she left, she was in a hurry, and I'm like, I cannot miss her. You know when you're recording someone, and did you record? I was recording you. Guess what? I didn't press record. Oh, you were saying? Yeah. It was just a phenomenon. <laughs> and I'm I like, oh, jeez, I missed it. I'm gonna I have to get in touch with you. Uh, and so that's what so we did met. coffee, and then one, two, three, and two beautiful people mm. next to me. So I've met you individually. Yes. Fall in love with you individually. Yeah. yeah. And then y'all come you know, together. Did the I was high five. <laughs> <laughs> So who's gonna tell me how this started? She can start. She can so, start. Go ahead. Baby. Yeah, because anyway, I'm the culprit. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious about this. Honestly speaking, um, yeah. for me to get to realize who Timbo is, I was watching Rhythm City, and you know, we know the Pule character. I love this yeah. young guy, but the character ended so abruptly, mm -hmm. and that was it. And then the next time I'm hearing about this guy, I'm just seeing a newspaper magazine. Pule passes my trick. Oh, okay. Bought it. And I'm like, oh, this guy turned my little brown and nowhere. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Went on Facebook, we did the things, you know, and he accepted my friend request on Facebook. Which I hardly do. Which you I don't? Hard, no, I, I mean, I always make sure that. I know, he's reached the first He's reached the first time. Yeah, I have mark anyway. Oh, my word. So, like, don't make us jealous. Oh, one had to go down for me to go in, you know? <laughs> And someday I inboxed him and just said, you know what, you look like a funny guy. And it's like, I'm not funny right now. I'm stressed. School is just driving me nuts. And I'm like, oh, trust God, you know, you, you won't bring it as far to failure. And he was just mesmerized by that. And like he responded. He did. Can we start there? So you're not like an out of touch celebrity kind of thing. You responded. Um, I'm not anybody yet. But I don't respond to DMs. I'm just no, 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 no. Like, that's why that. I say that you know, even with me, particularly with DMs, I I always make sure because a lot of people are trying to get into your space mm. and they're trying to figure out what it is that you're doing. But most of them, it's about CCTV. opportunity. That's true. Mm. A lot of them want to get in on what you're doing and they want to say, hey, hook me up as well. And if I told mm. them my story of how I got there, it's only a God story. Mm. You know, the things that I've done, how I got to doing the roles that I've been doing. Mm. And God has just been elevating me from, mm. you know, from day one. So when I met her, when she came into my life, she firstly um, came in because of a camp that I usually go to. And I always advocate for this because I believe that's where our foundation was, was set. Yeah. That's where we were rooted because I was telling her about uh, Youth Week which is run by Youth for Christ in Mahalisburg. And so when I told her about that, because she's been seeing me post pictures about it, she's been seeing me talk about it, I love you, I love young people. Mm. And we're, I've been there for now, for the past eight plus years to 10 years and so oh. forth. So it's been my duty every single year on the 1st of Jan, 
to the ninth, you'll find me at Youth Week, I would put down everything else mm -hmm. just to tend to those young people wow. and, and do what I do in, in production ministry, right? So she's been asking me, so tell me, dude, I want to come to this camp mm -hmm. and whatnot. And I'm like, okay. Mm she's asking about something that makes me interested. Mm -hmm. So she's asking That's about the way camp. to go, people. <laughs> It's a lot of time, but you still have to make it a physical thing so that yeah. you get to know someone. True. It's one thing for someone to say, hey, I'm interested in what you're doing via camp. And when you meet them, it's not what God intended mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. So there's still a process there as well that yeah. you need to follow through. Again, why I say that is that people need to be careful on social media because oh, yes. you don't know the people's intentions yes, and true. what they have behind their thoughts, That's behind right. what they want to do. Right. So I had to still scrutinize her as much as she, she was scrutinizing Scrutinize. me. Scrutinize. Scrutinize. Mm. You must observe. Yeah. <laughs> the beauty guys let me not lie i am saying this point blank you know how they always say no but beauty can't go fast because you must know the heart let's be honest mama you know when you look at the someone man hey this. i looked at her she had now this braiding this is on social media right? i'm telling you she had this look on her so profile the pictures picture. matter Yo, and no, i was but like can i tell you Hey, you are a beautiful woman. You are. Yeah. Then she's photogenic hey. on top of it. Listen. Right? Because hey. I'm looking at those pictures and I'm no way such inclined. Yeah. But I was like, no, sure. <laughs> Tell yeah. the truth when God has done something. Hey. Woo! Wait. Oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me continue. Please so I, I look at Hope and she looked amazing. But it had to be more than that. Mm -hmm. There had to be something more than that. Because um, I believe for me, you know, beauty, yes, is in the eyes of the beholder, but at the same time, the heart of a person, you know, must live with my heart and with God's heart. You have to be equally yoked. Mm. So already by then, when she came into my life, I was looking for that. She had to be a woman of prayer. She had to be someone who understood herself, her values. I'm not saying perfect. I'm not saying understanding her purpose fully, but someone who knows herself, someone who knows where she wants to go. And she came into that story uh, even while I was stressing about university and she just encouraged me in the word. We laughed, you know, we spoke about the word, we spoke about prayer and I was like, dude, all online. If there's all one thing, ask, all online online physical, physical, yeah. yeah, no, no, no. And mm -hmm. I was like, if there's any one thing that you're doing, buddy, is you're just encouraging me to get through this year. You're mm -hmm. encouraging me to find myself, you know, to, to just be the best that I can be. So that already was speaking some sort of volume in my life. And I think when I told her about her, she never came to the camp, by the way. I invited her, I put everything out there, she didn't come. Again, but God's timing is perfect. Yeah, true. So we, we, we went through, I think, a season of just being quiet. I was busy with school. She was in university doing her honors. Mm -hmm. And then it was just quiet. And then she pops up again on my timeline somewhere there. And she's like, no, I'm speaking. I, I hear her speaking to my brother. You know, she had my younger brother as well. As I went, you did the Hey, this one. Man. She was just, you know, <laughs> ready, you know, organizing. She's talking to my brother this other day. And I'm like, is that hope? She's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. It's hope. I'm like, there can only be one hope that I know. <laughs> is it the one that you're talking to? She's like, yeah, hope, hope, you know. And I'm like, hey, hope. You're speaking to my brothers up there and you're ignoring me. And funny enough, there was a word where someone who said you were gonna marry one of my brothers. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. And the point is that I wanna go marry one of my brothers and like oh yeah. Because the oldest one, which was very he was serious at the time and I'm like, oh okay, this guy is I was I always had those bubble foods type that I was very <laughs> like you don't come out here and play with me and, you know, I was very serious, very, yeah. very focused. And then she was like, uh oh, I go too serious, guys. Like, that guy's like too upright and self conscious, you know. But eventually, uh, Mama Pearl, you know, when we got to meet, it was really best. Let me share that. Okay, share okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, how, so, how we got to meet, um, yeah. I mean, he had invited me to meet with him a couple of times. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. So, his brother was having a new baby that he was opening up. This is their child, and so there's the launch of that. And my mom was like, Go, and I'm like, No, I'm not going. And she's like, Okay, there's a the customer, bring you get go. Put on makeup, put on dress, look amazing, and go. Okay, oh. and I was like, Okay, your mom was playing Naomi right now. Yes, exactly. Yes, okay, that's, that's she's the letting you to go at the word. And, like, oh, um, and, and, and I wasn't even worried at the time, I didn't want to do my hair, so I put on makeup. Look good, and I did the things. Went to the event. Didn't even tell him that I was coming because I wanted to surprise him. 
and here I was sitting there and eventually when he came, guys, he was wearing that van with us. You know, he was just very nice overall. Oh, because he wanted to set up, you know, before the time started. Dad, I was really you know? And you were like, you make the effort. <laughs> Not even. I wasn't even thinking that far. And I just wanted to surprise the dad and say, I'm here. He was shocked. But I think, you know, the one thing that really caught him towards me is my smile, so to say. It is people,
photo of him happening with the same with your makeup, you know? <laughs> so I've been through such moments and I was like, mm -mm, not anymore. So what do you choose? This is gonna be great. These are the practices that I want. I want a spiritual man, you know, a person who knows himself, who is aware of himself, you know, a person who's gonna love me. You know, and hey, 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 there's that man. Okay, so when we when I meet him, okay, yes, fine, he's short, shout. <laughs> But his heart is not so nice at all. He is slow. There's a giant leg. Like, Even to this day, I'm still missing the guys. Yo, guys, I scored. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. in the girls that I'm sure. There are days yeah. where it clicks back. It's like, you will be today. I didn't realize that you really are short. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it's beautiful. You also love it. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you see your point of discomfort. Now it's like, I love the fact that your name is the chain. There's day, there's do. Yeah. <laughs> So there's love and there's friendship. Exactly. So free. That's a beautiful girl. Yeah. Um, this journey for me has been good pieces. And I think, as I say, this was a good direct of a nice little girl for me. Because only God in the world is the kind of woman that would be perfect. The kind of woman, you know, when God puts it on you, come and put you like, who would fit to be perfect. And I say this in a spiritual and a physical place. Because when you marry, you have to be God just knew that I had to find a woman who was pure for the world. You know, never see it at the end. You know, also lose heart and be big enough for the world. You know, because um, she's the greatest woman. You know, I would say, I mean, I looked up to make a You know, no arms, no legs. And I said, before I got married, I used to stand in my eye. I could have been mad with his life as a testimony, as an evangelist, as a speaker. And I said, God. You can do it for someone like me. You can do it for someone like me. But when Nick took a wife for himself, the wife had to look beyond what he could do. Because we have to find God. We have to find the attributes of God. And so God showed me that in her. I think today, when we got married, we could have lost it. Comments on social media were all about this girl. People looked at us and they said, Oh, well, it's not possible. I'm a good man. The, the guy that she talked she talked about, I'm physical, I'm built, I'm strong enough. And God said, She doesn't need to be. She needs someone who's strong enough for her. Yeah. And God has to do that in your life because I think God goes to come first to be resilient, to, to be tough for my family, for myself, to go to get over the bullying. Get over so many life challenges, and she came along saying, You can be tired, you should be able to be. But because God is good and He's sitting with me, I said, Don't worry, you can come out this way. And together we're just going to fight this thing. We're going to live life, and we're going to live this way. God is just doing the same thing. Ah. We'll give him a warning. Ah. God is so good. Ah. Yeah. 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 I'm going back to the part where you mentioned that corporate yeah. book. Yeah. His name is Demma. My name is Demma. We were both premature for five months. What? Premature. They're both of us. And it makes I sense why we have those names. Same year. So it was just like five months of us. So like eight. You know? So, and we were like, are you sure? Our mothers are not the same. But no, I was born in August, you were born in March. You know? So, it, it, it's just divine, you know? and even how we got to get to our purity walk as teenagers. I, I had, you know, we went through the silver ring thing, and I also did the very same thing. And you know, we signed a letter, you know, we signed a certificate of purity that I will, you know, stay pure for my husband. This is Daniel who was doing the very same thing. So God just knew, you know, that these two are gonna meet and they're gonna come together. And and for me, you know, it's just for me, it's, it's a big part of my life because when God brings two together, let no man separate. Yes. It isn't a part of my life and I'm willing really, 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 to ever open up a show with anyone else. I keep telling them, you know what, I mean? God, God had to make sure he said Because I even went through a phase, I'm closing that for my son, where I was doing a film. And when we shoot movies, we go through general uh, checkups and things like that, medical checkups. Just let people, they look at the producers, they look at you healthy, they don't want to be a problem to us. 
plates. So when I went through that, the doctor looked at my, my, my the growth plates on my fingers, and they said that uh, the growth plates said that you're never going to try. You know, but yet you're, I think I was too to at that time. You know, I went back and told them, and they said, the doctor said to me, dude, you can get go through it. Lionel Messi, Messi took growth hormone injections, and he could grow, well, obviously, a certain age, uh, a certain height. And I considered that, but I thought, God, if you wanted me to look this way, you would have done it naturally. So nothing is impossible with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, you know, saying that the medical world can't be any help, but because I, I, you have to walk by faith and not by sight, you have to believe that God is able, you know, to stretch you. And, and, and bring you out to be the height that you want to be. So because I've been praying that for a long time, it came through and then, but it came through medically. Now I had to make a choice. I don't know what's on the other side of the world had I taken the injections. Mm. Because that's what faith is. Mm. When God says, you know, the, uh, you come to me by faith. It is mm. only by faith that I'm pleased. I have to trust God that this is the body you're giving me right now. Mm. Because what's on the other side of the injection, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this body will carry me to a hundred. So had I taken the injection, mm -hmm. I'm pulling my life back by... You don't know. You're adding to what he's already done. You, you know what I mean? Changing so only, only God knows. When I told my beautiful wife, and I said, God, I still need to know that this lady, you know, is who you've brought into my life. And for me, that stamp of approval was, and I said, Hope, the doctors say I can take both from the injection. That means I can be slightly taller, mm. I can pick you up. You know, doing the things oh. I always looked at as those romantic, yeah. oh, swing her around, <laughs> you know, put her on my back or whatever. And she said, that's great, dude, but I, it's not really what I, I, I was looking at you from that perspective. I was looking at your heart. And, you know, I believe for me, the way you are is the way that I love you. Oh. And it's the only thing that matters. I said to God, because you know what has been my greatest frustration and challenge in life, especially once you're married, you know, you realize that this is the woman you're gonna spend the rest of your life with, and this is the woman that you're going to be intimate with, this is the woman that is going to raise my children. You know, there's a certain space that you can only open up yourself to the right person. And God was just saying, well, if you don't believe that, then I don't know what else you, you know, expect. like what yeah. other sign do you want? What? You want me to come down and slap you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else you're expecting. So for me, um, I told her that story and it didn't come from a, a naive point of view. Mm. She had really thought about it. She said, listen, dude, you can do whatever you want. But for me, this is I'm who satisfied. I am. I'm satisfied. I'm happy. I'm sure. You know what I, I noticed? I noticed a change in your social media persona. Yeah after marriage mm -hmm. and i want to talk about yes 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 mm -hmm. yes which is a really good thing it means you're mm -hmm. having an impact of sorts yeah. um i want to talk about that after i ask this question sure you mentioned that on social media there was a lot of commentary around the physical how did you guys respond because i saw some of that commentary and i was talking with my husband i mean it just broke our hearts and, but then you know at the back of my mind was kind of like what do you expect for people who have not had the touch that we've had. We need to come to a place where we actually have compassion for the yeah. mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. compassion for the bully, because only hurt people reach out to hurt other people. Yes. But how did you handle it amongst each other I mean, and in response her, to, to I'll social I'll go with media. her side first. Having come into my space where I've had to deal with it for a long, long time. time. Um, I think for me first it was new. Why was it new? Because he's been on TV almost a decade now and so everyone knew him so while whilst we were still at our wedding ceremony um we already hit two thousand shares mm -hmm. of our pictures you know and okay we didn't know and how you're still people, at the we ceremony still we're at still the at ceremony the you know still saying i do and know. a friend of ours posted that. a friend of ours posted of course by through my permission and stuff i'm like oh don't worry you can post i didn't think that the world was watching at the time and the comments came in and they were negative, some were positive, but you know, you obviously will see the negative with a larger view, you know. And I read them, I read them, and I said nothing because I then realized that the most important voice it's my husband's voice, it's my voice, it's God's voice. And that's it. 
So as to when somebody comes and says, yo, child abuse, look at her, she looks like his mother. Or someone may say, oh my gosh, she's so courageous, she's going to break him or something. I did not worry about what they said because God knew, you know, that we are made for each other. So I wasn't touched by that, you know, but, you know, I just ignored it. Mm -hmm. The following day, again, newspapers. Um, they were writing their own stories, you know. They reached out to our bridesmaids, our friends, and trying to scoop a story. And we just did not, you know, um, take notes notice of that. We didn't want to make a big hoo-ha that sue anybody mm -hmm. or demand money. Why are you using our pictures without our permission? You know, so we were like, you know what? It's the world out there. That's how they are. You know, they also just trying to figure themselves out. Some will learn. Some are just out there to be bullies. So if you understand that people like that, you don't allow them to get into your space. You don't allow them to get under into your, your heart, you know, and under your skin. You don't allow them to, you know, get you to have sleepless nights because somebody says, oh my gosh, she's too good. You know, so too we basically just ignore that. Because someone said too beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> we ignore that. So you never had a need to respond in your own corner to protect her or... You just absorbed also and kept quiet. You know, for me, um, when 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 that came up, like we we're very sensitive and, and private people, mm -hmm. but I always have been. I've I've been in the industry for way too long to know that there are things in my life that belong to me that are mm -hmm. just about me, and there are things in my life that yes, I can share, but also depends on what I'm sharing. Most of the time, it would be scriptures, it would be the word, things like that. So that, that, that's what my boundaries were. Mm. So right up until we got married, we had always known, you know how people always post, hey, I'm about to go to Bola, hey, engagement day. It's easy to get caught up in the hype of wanting to do that. Mm. But because of knowing that this thing is a covenant, this thing it's is a sacred. spiritual journey, yeah. it's very sacred. There are things that don't belong to the world and to people. For instance, even us doing interviews now, God, we spoke to God about it. That's why we didn't do interviews even when we got married and they got in a hold of our pictures because God said, right now it will only be about tablet. Mm. But now is the right time to talk about ministry, you know, and in the ministry of marriage. And did I tell you how we came to invite you? Mm -hmm. My husband was in prayer mm -hmm. and he felt it dropped in his spirit. Mm -hmm. But you know, we told our story, the other stories out there, and the first story that came to his heart was you guys story and he sent me a message from his place of prayer mm -hmm. and the words were you have to invite mm -hmm. and i'm thinking um have to is strong <laughs> to ask their permission. Yeah. Like, if they're not so the minute you said yes mm -hmm. i was like no oh, this is god 100 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and it's the right time because i believe god is just doing something amazing in us and to see that is because it's a testimony people are looking at us and we've done one other interview it was with, uh, for better or worse, you know. And with those guys also, they promote godly marriages. And I told my wife, I think it was just after we got married, that I feel God saying in my spirit, he's restoring the position of godly marriages yes. in South Africa. Revelation. You know, kingdom marriages, actually, to, 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 to say it properly. And that there is a certain season that is going to open up those doors because in order for there to be a generation that is going to be born through purity, through marriages that are going to be covenantal and proper and do the right things, mm. there has to be a season of godly and kingdom marriages that have to come in, you know, at a certain season. I don't know how long that's, that season is, but God was saying, you are a part of that because I am using you as a voice to the people in what you have it's to do. About why, why is that like that? Even the day that I got married, everything aligned everything finances right through i won't like to we got married debt free literally every single thing we did we owe no one nothing mm. we did not go to the bank for any loans mm. you know it was just god's way of saying i'm you carrying the doors yeah. and i will make sure that it happens the right way our purity she comes from the other side of the world i come from the other side of the world you would have never no, guaranteed something way. like that you know and so again going back to social media and those comments it, it, I won't say it hit me, but it got me to understand that human nature outside of God is really broken. Yeah. True. It's sinful True. and they, there's no understanding or wisdom mm. of the things of God. Mm. God confirmed again throughout this interviewing process that we're doing that God uses the foolish things to confound the wise. Mm. So sometimes 
yes, you will be brought out there as a living sacrifice. Oh. You know, you, you're like sheep sent to the slaughter. And what that means is that people will ridicule you, people will laugh yeah. at you and scoff. But as long as you raise up the name of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ and say, God is sitting on the throne of this thing. I didn't got married because, you know, amen, that I was waiting for confirmation from anyone. Mm -hmm. Because even when I was going to propose to her, God gave me a word. Hey, God, God has been speaking to me, guys. You don't know. This journey through prayer and fasting, God spoke to me again and said, when you propose her marriage, don't say, will you marry me? God, the Holy Spirit said to me, say, will you grow old with me? Mm -hmm. Why the Holy Spirit wanted me to say that was because the, the, the process of getting married, we're, we're married now, yeah. we're done. Yeah. In, in the eyes of the court, in the eyes of God, we've already covenantally yes. married. But yeah. the process of growing old mm. takes time. Mm. That's what the goal is. And the goal is that when you grow old, it means generations have to yeah. come through yeah. you. It means you're going to have to bring seed into this world mm. that is going to work for God and glorify God. And that only happens in the process of growing old. So God said, see yourself as Abraham and Sarah when it says they were of old age. And she was know. so beautiful. And she was still yes. beautiful. We've been, we've been talking about that with my husband. Like, yeah. how does an 80-something year old make a <laughs> king go gaga? -ga? You know, I'm telling you. So the Holy Spirit working in us dropped that in me. He said, when you propose it, say, will you grow old? Mm -hmm. It's not easy to do that. Getting married, people are divorcing after one year, after two years. And right now, there was an open season where the enemy was just bringing divorce and making it a, a, a norm, a fashionable, fashionable yes. norm. And God was saying, you're not a part of that cycle. Yeah. You have to break that. And you have to make people know that marriage is my covenant. Mm. And I am the one works. Yeah, you know, that, that brings marriage across in the way that I've destined for it to be. It's possible. Yeah. So those comments, they, they hit me, but I spoke about it on the second leg of our marriage, um, it was the traditional day. And I spoke publicly and I said, you know what, I went through the comments, each and every one of them, and I read them and I said, but God, you said to me, it has begun. Mm -hmm. It has begun. Even with those comments, it's like Christ carrying that cross mm -hmm. and going to the cross of Calvary. He knew that it had begun. It was time, you can't take it away, but God said, I will use that for my glory. You know the most powerful thing about when it has begun? It's also the fact that it is finished. Yes, True. also the fact that it is finished. It is 100%. finished. When, at that time when it has begun, it is finished. Yes, mm -hmm. right? it's fulfilled. It's fulfilled. Mm -hmm. It's waiting for an articulation. Mm -hmm. He has to be on the cross, yeah. uh, you know, take his last breath and say it is finished. 100%. But because he holds all of time at the same time in mm -hmm. one moment, at the time it's begun, it's finished, which sure. means that the pain is finished mm -hmm. and the joy has come. It's morning already. Yeah. And so you guys have each other to comfort each other, to laugh with each other, yeah. to, and you and, and you give each other like duck skin, like <laughs> <laughs> you know. I, I guess you come to a point where you're just like, I wish you had what we had. Mm -hmm. yeah. It might make you a nicer person. Yeah. And you just find yourself truly praying for your enemies. And it's interesting that you know, as we've been doing these interviews, and people are getting to know who Hope and Timber is, they're like, Oh my gosh, we like these people. Yes, we love this couple. You know, they're quite dynamic. We want to know more about them. And that was God's you know, plan, exactly. Yeah. And that's the it is finished part now yes. because they get to know the story. They get to know that love is not what's outside. Mm. You know, love is what's inside. Love is God, and yes. you need to have God first within, yes. so that He will show you the spouse that's going to help you get to the part where you need to be fruitful and multiply. Yes. This is what this is what I want to talk about. His recent social media commentary. Yes. Because now, I mean, every time I've seen you, you have a jovial persona. <laughs> like I'm hearing now for the first time that he's like, Mr. Serious, yes. right? So I've never known him to be serious. But now I'm looking at his social media commentary and there's a whole serious side that just came out. I'm like, oh, who this is <laughs> <laughs> you know, The pastor just came out I'm there. It's, it's like you entered, you, 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 I won't say you entered because I don't know the journey, but I think you, began to expose more the yeah. purpose and the sure. ministry that had always been there. Yeah. And maybe there was behind you like, you know, based on the rejection, based on the uncertainty, how can I articulate it? Would I be accepted? I'm, I'm in this industry. This industry is extremely worldly. Yeah. I've yeah. got to calculate very carefully how I come across and what I say mm -hmm. because True. too much Jesus is going to cost me certain jobs, blah, blah, blah. 
but it's like this woman came into your life mm -hmm. and a whole nother level of I just don't care mm -hmm. came up and you began these long pieces and they resonated with me because my mm -hmm. husband is a writer <laughs> like yo he writes and I have to mm -hmm. go through I'm the QA person mm -hmm. so so they resonated and I was just like you found a wife you found a good hey, man. Mm -hmm. you know Proverbs 1821 um, you know for me as you're saying that God first again had to teach me that you, you don't need to be accepted by the world for me to open doors for you. Yeah. You know, um, and I think again, when I look at people and how the enemy makes them think or believe that, you know, they're in control of the things that, that happen to us. And even when you look at marriage holistically, people have this skewed per perception that, you know, marriage is, is this, what do you call it? It's, it's like this asylum, like you're just locked out of the fun, the, mm -hmm. you know, the things of the world. And God is saying, it is only there that the world opens. Yes. True. You know, where there is glory, where my anointing yes. shines through you. And what you're saying is actually accurate because we've been discussing that as well. And I was saying to her, it's not that I believe the word of God wasn't, you know, strong enough in my speech. But when God says that, you know, he who finds a wife really does find a good thing and obtains favor, is that I will bring out that favor out of you, you know, and you will speak a language to men and they will look at you and they'll so be shocked and be like, like mm. uh, you are just an actor's name. <laughs> but mind you, not you, you know, you, 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 you're you speaking words, Labels. you know, mm -hmm. but it's also that, 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 um, purpose of God through evangelism that God is also opening up, you know. Sure. Um, it's still a sacred path that I'm walking down, but God is just saying, just let me, you know, take lead on mm -hmm. you and I will open those doors and I'll bring you before kings. And mm -hmm. I will, even, even uh, uh, Papa, uh, Papa John also was talking about me directing mm -hmm. and it's only now that it's opening up because I sure. believe God is saying the voice is matured enough. Yeah. You know, Proverbs, uh, not Proverbs, I think First Corinthians 13 talks about when I was a child, mm -hmm. I spoke like a child. You know, I reason like a child, but now when I'm older, you know, I'm mature. And so even the way I do things now is for this time. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done the things back then because I was like a child. I thought like a child. I was I was self centered, you know, in some in some instance. But now because there's someone of hey, don't that smile <laughs> hey, man, you breaking up the, uh, the chains and the talks, man. <laughs> hey dude. <laughs> Just one glance, I was like, Ish. This mosquito doesn't do so Oh worse. my god. You know? <laughs> Ish. Black men don't blush, but. Uh, oh. <laughs> I need mean, to shoot, guys. Stop yeah. it. My god. Oh, yeah. there we go. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I am so blessed. Oh, so, Thank you. I'm so blessed because, I mean, I remember. Yeah. You were just like, I need to get this right, and you wanted to have meetings with me. Oh, yeah, I remember. Like, we say, I'm going into something, and I need to put my stuff together mm -hmm. to see it today. So, God, God has been sitting here, and God is still sitting here, and I can tell you, I'm only excited mm -hmm. for what the future has in store for us. But our thing is that we still remain hidden. True. This, I was actually thinking about the secret place now. Say it. Before you said it. Say it. You, you shall become one. Say it. <laughs> you know? And that's the thing also God does, that you know, he will deposit something in you that he's depositing in him, you know. So no one will actually just walk because I know I heard God say this from him and I don't get confirmation. You know, just like um is it Samson's mother? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She she got she got the word first and then the angel went to Samson's father and said, Now we'll get a child. This is what it's gonna do. So God does that and all of that takes its truest form also in the secret place. Yeah. Being hidden. Hidden in God, closing all the doors from the noise outside mm. and getting to hear what is our next for our family, you know. Where are we going? You know, um, as he said, he, he's quite a guy for evangelism. And funny enough, I always grew with this thing of, I love evangelism so much. If it was according to me, I would hire out thousands of buses and we've got every day, you know, just on That's some funny. speaker, even going door to door, house to house. I love it. Mm -hmm. And this is where I know that the person that God had destined for me is also within the same mm -hmm. in the same life. And that will take its maturity and its fullest growth in this place. Yeah. We could be here yeah. for another day and a half. Right? Because I think 
the same way that the Bible is a love story written to us, and it never grows old. Yeah, yeah. Like my family, we read the Bible end to end every year, and every year it's kind of like something is different. Something, something is different. different to us. Right? And in the same way, this is a depiction of, of you know the Lord and His church, His mm. bride, and His love story to her. So it just you if you start talking now, I promise you, you decided you're not going to sleep for a week, you wouldn't stop talking. Yeah. He would fill your hearts with things to say concerning, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? mean? To, to, just to grab onto what you're saying, you know, God has also deposited a book in our life. I always feel like sometimes you think, ah, oh, but God, I'm, I'm too young for books, man. I feel like there's so much I that still I still need to learn. Yeah, but God is saying, at the right time, I know why I'm mm-hmm. doing certain things forward. So God has also been bubbling that up on the inside of me. He's been saying that, um, I need to speak to my children, but there's a certain language that I'm going to use, even from that context, that you're going to bring forth, you know, that I want them to, to take in and understand what it is that I'm doing. So I'm still, you know, walking in line with God with that. And like you said, there's so much more we could bring out. But I think our story indefinitely is a story of hope. Yeah. yeah. It, it really is yeah. a story of hope. There's not really put it down. For people to understand that. Um, That's what's written on your ring. <laughs> you know, yes, 100%. Yeah, ring. my ring says, our hope, Christ, our hope. It's written in Hebrew because I saw it in Israel. It's engraved in Hebrew. And when I saw it in Israel, I, I thought, I, I want to carry that, that identity in me. You know, when I went to Israel, I wrote something in a piece of paper, put it on the Western Wall, mm-hmm. and I just said, God, you're going to make this happen. You know, so even my ring says that if Christ is our hope, because it's a story of hope, but sometimes yeah. hope has to manifest itself in the physical. Yeah, the people to get yeah. to it can't be deferred to be continuously. Or else yeah. heart will go sick. Hundred percent. Right. You know. So um, that's our journey. That's where we are for now. There's a lot more that's yet to be discovered, and we're hoping that God will, will protect us. Mm-hmm. That you guys also please pray with us, pray for us, because the enemy is not altogether proud. Mm. about what is going on. There's always, you know, an arrow behind your back. There's just a target that's mm. just waiting, you know, um, because this institution, when you do it God's way, um, there's always, you know, just things that happen in and around. And sometimes it's, it might not just come from me and her. Mm. It might come from Stern. family, mm. external factors. So we always need to ensure that we're staying covered and, and, and uh, hidden in the word of God. So, I'm excited. I'm so happy. Love to lives here. Yeah. Oh no, it does. <laughs> and gives us all hope. Yeah. It's, true. it's been <laughs> it's... wonderful and amazing. I'm gonna close off, but if you wanna say one more thing, your your the very life mm-hmm. purpose of this marriage, the motto, the slogan, right? The one sentence that it encapsulates that drives you every morning and that you would want any other couple planning to get married in similar circumstances, wondering what will people say, yeah. or oh, I'm not good enough, or whatever their hang-ups might be, what would that one sentence be? You hope. All for the kingdom of God. That's it. Right? And then all other things will be added, right? I'm telling you. Wow. That will keep you grounded. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, there was a, guys, I'm sorry. I'm so in front. And meanwhile, like, hey. so, so wait, 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 let's just now you go, go back to the interview. <laughs> you had known her all of this time. Yes, yeah, she was cute. Mm-hmm. But it didn't, it didn't, no. you know, no, she didn't do you like it do you now. No, she's beautiful. And so when you said, I do, <sighs> it just it went uh, Amen. in the I, other I, direction. I can't explain it. It's, it, 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 it's made perfect for me. Yeah. It's, it's the one thing that I don't think I can ever articulate. It's special for me. You know, so someone else might look at it and have their own misconceptions and thoughts. But I, I know what I see, I know what I find. Sometimes it fascinates over the beauty spot. Like, mm. <laughs> like, it's just a dot. But haven't you <laughs> found that being married to a man who loves you in your totality, mm. physically, spiritually, and intimately, has made you feel more beautiful? It has because you look at yourself in the mirror. You're like, yeah, yeah actually, <laughs> it has. You know, I've gained a lot of confidence. You know, because growing up, I also had body image issues. You know, I've always been the bigger one in the family, and people would point that out. But when I met Temba, I was like, oh, what do you mean? You know, we've got big thighs, thunder thighs, as we'd call them. It's like, 
two perfectly, just all for mine, oh. for me, you know, they're all mine. And then I grew in that confidence yes. even more, and I was like, my word, I'm an Esther. There you Esther, go. You know? Yes. There you so, go. That's something. That's something. And funny enough, he, he he loves to touch the body part like that. I'm like, no, I don't like that. And he's like, I love it. You know, it's like the smile, and I'm like, ah, guys, but everybody smiles. And now you look at the smile different. But to him, it's like, yo, so I know what to do when I want something. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, my my parting shot is, like she said, and I'll reiterate that is, it's you have to have a kingdom mindset. You have to be built in the kingdom of God. But also ultimately, especially to young men, what I want to stress is that the world out there and how it has been fashioned today, no one will teach you about purpose. Mm. It is important to walk a life of purpose and discover mm. what is our joint purpose. Sure. See, a lot of the people make the mistake of the wedding day and getting into marriage, but not fully understand what is the core of this. Mm-hmm. Ideally, we, she can do her own thing, I can do my own thing, but there's something that God wants to unlock jointly, you know, together. So the moment you understand that God, God is pulling something in this direction, and again, I know young people have discounted Jesus Christ. Young people have thought this to be a a, a myth. They've thought it to be. It's not an. It's, it's a non-African thing, mm-hmm. but it's a spiritual thing. Mm-hmm. You can't take that away from God. I mean, you can. You can. I always say that two two seeds of of, of males can't create mm-hmm. a new life. It's a, it, it's impossible. Only God creates that. All right, and God designed it perfectly. No human man can ever redesign blood and create their own. Mm. A, a packet of blood it's impossible mm-hmm. but God is the one that brings out fresh new blood no one knows when the breath of a child comes into them from their mother's womb I believe it's from our seed in fact I don't know where, when it happens but so we must stop it's God taking the yeah. role of God in this generation and allow God to mold and make us into his glorious image and God will do wonders in his marriage because the mystery of Christ and the church is exactly that. It's a mystery that mystery. unfolds mm. when God brings you into his perfect alignment and purpose for mm. your lives. So young men, please, please, please be prayerful. Mm. Fast. You know, the woman that you're looking at, don't look at her beauty alone. Don't look at the physical attributes. Let me tell you, an intimate oh, moment is okay. does not last mm. forever. Mm. It is a passing phase, but it's the things that God builds on the inside of you that keeps building this fire in this marriage and in, in society and in communities. And for me, lastly, is to say that we're a part of the kingdom that is going to bring forth a generation of young believers mm. that will stand in these last days and declare, declare the Lord. you know, the wonders of God and the power of God and the manifestation of His glory mm. to the end of time. I went to church today, people. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you guys so much, much for coming. Yes. Do you have a page? Yes, I do have a page. Yeah, let's talk. It's Timber Talks, Talks Mind. That's my page. Timber Talks Mind. That's yeah. his page. Perfect. And he is talking his mind on the truth. The mind of Christ. Amen. Amen. It has been pleasant. We are going to sit and chat again. Mm-hmm. In let's do it in five decades. Okay. Let's do it in five decades. Uh, Don't forget you. Oh, <laughs> let's do it in five decades. You should be having children who have children, mm-hmm. and we'll make it a reunion, mm-hmm. right? We'll bring. Three generations up in yes, here yeah. and talk about where it started. Yeah, of course. Yeah. In Jesus uh, we don't know if you're coming to the tent, <laughs> um, but we'll start where we start and we'll end where we end, exactly. and yeah. God will have the final say. Thank you. Love you much, love you plenty. You. How cool has that been? Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks, guys. Yeah.